someone asks, is your cat HJS or, or Gessie? Ours is neither. Ours is 034 Motorsport. Um, we've talked about this before. We don't need to pay HJS. We just simply go to a catalytic converter manufacturer. We tell them what specifications we're looking for, and they can deliver that to us. Uh, HJS doesn't um, you know, have a monopoly on, on catalytic converters. Now, we are talking to Gessie because they have some high-flow cats that are 49 state legal. And so that means they've gone through the regulatory process and uh, they're, they'd like to charge extra money for that. And, and from our perspective, that would be a worthwhile yes. uh, thing to pay for. HJS is not interesting to us at all. It's a brand um, of Cali Converter. And again, uh, we know enough about Cali Converters that we can go to a Cali Converter manufacturer and get the exact engineered specified product that we want without spending a lot of extra money for the HJS brand. Right. But Gessie has gone through the regulatory effort, and so that is interesting. And so we are actually talking to them right now, and we would consider bringing out a second line of products uh, that specifically cater to people looking to run, you know, somewhat. They're not going to be legal in California, but um, they would be 49 state legal in, in most cases. Yeah, and we, we're, we're, gonna, we're testing <laughs> these where there's going to be some interesting... Um considerations on the calibration side because they are we, we we it'll be it'll live in a in a land kind of between stage one and stage two where we're not going to mm -hmm. be doing anything um you know toward more towards a racing application like the normal stage two stuff um, all of the ecu cat you know testing uh, emissions everything is still intact which is you know pretty amazing um so yeah we'll we'll, we'll have more information on that when we you know when we get there but yeah. we are testing them but not all cat converters are the same no. and uh, the cheap ones are just cheap uh, i honestly i wouldn't waste my money on the cheap ones and that's so and that's just focusing on the, the brick never mind the construction where uh, you know a lot yeah. of our stuff these days have we do castings for you know improved, stainless steel improved, casting yeah. yeah then they're they're high quality metal castings um to really get those transitions right to place that catalyst element where it should be uh, as opposed to moving everything way downstream like some applications because it's easier to manufacture and yeah. out of a you know off the shelf uh, steel tube um, kind of manufacturing. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Um, yeah, and then all of our high flow cats have, um, you know, for, for like the, the B9 have this really beautiful heat shielding that's that's yeah. actually welded onto it. And it's a stainless embossed stainless steel outer with a fiberglass insulation underneath it. Um, that, that kind of thing was popularized in, in some pretty high level racing years ago. And uh, we've been able to employ that on all of our newer high flow cats yep. for like the B9 and, and newer cars. So, yeah, I mean, our, our cats are good. They're definitely more expensive, but they're cheaper than like the HJS stuff that's out there. And again, that's just a name brand. I, would, I wouldn't waste my money. Uh, I would just make sure I'm getting a high quality product that has that has a, a specific rating. Um, right. Yeah. The only time it really makes sense to me, at least for, for that price tag would be if it comes with a you know a, and, that, and the, the emissions exactly and that's where the gassy cats are, are that's why we're talking to them yep. but there's there's no reason we would talk to hjs 